All right, we're back to playing Final Fantasy VII, and uh, today we're gonna try a couple thing that aren't a couple things, and they not lose words there. But as you can see in the bottom right, I am at uh, Cactus Island, which is basically a small island south of Cosmo Canyon that has is half grass to land on, and the other half is desert. And essentially, what happens is. There's this item here, it's called the Tetra Elemental. It basically protects you against fire, ice, lightning, and earth. And it is a great thing to do. Now I've already done this for two of them, but I want a third. And see, here's this little island. As you can see on the map, we're down in the lower left there. And I want to find yet another, another guy. Come on, give me a guy. I believe the only enemy on this island is Cactor. And they are level 40, which means they're susceptible to level 4 suicide. Which reduces them to about 180 HP. You can then manipulate them if you want to. What do they actually do? Yeah, the mystery kick and thousand evil. But I want to sense uh, kill them with morph, and essentially you can you can keep manipulating <laughs> to. Uh... Oh, okay, that worked. But you morph them into a tetra elemental. There you go, and now that's all three of them. They're also worth 100 AP per battle. The Earth gained level. That should be uh, Quake Three, I think. Yeah. Okay. So there are only. <laughs> Only 18 more of those battles, or only 18, um, 1800 more of those battles, and they'll master Quake, but let's turn these off for a bit. So yeah, once you have three Tetra Elementals, pretty much all your party can be protected against all those elements, and that's great. Now Morph is a thing where there's one enemy, pretty much, that will be morphed into a source of each kind. Speed, you know, power, whatnot. And so you could essentially max out stats if you really wanted to. I don't want to do that because that's madness. But you can if you want to. But yeah, there's a, there's a few uh, things like, uh, like the Cactus Tetra Elementals that you can get that help will help immensely in certain fights later. Uh, I believe... is this where I want? Yes, Goblin Island. Uh, well, let's do up a save, since... we got the, the cat core items that I needed. Let's do it here. Turn on the encounter so we can encounter goblins in the woods. I don't know what's on land or on the beach. I've never attempted to figure that out. This could be like a, a triangle island situation where some of the monsters are innocuous and then you run into like a dinosaur throwing meteors at you. But we want goblins. There we are. Now, goblins have a goblin punch. And. There, and he learned Goblin Punch. Uh, that didn't do very much damage because I am not the same, or Uto is not the same level as the Goblin. But the other thing we want is to steal. Of course not. Uh, I guess somebody goes that one. Put me to sleep, thank you. Uh, is that everybody? Yeah, well, they did, it, they did it all on their own, so... I didn't have to do anything. Uh, actually, get to you. Put... There, okay, so... 
We won't have to worry about counterattacks now. The other thing, uh, region. The other thing to note is that they have, you can steal Zeonuts from them, which is one of the more, uh, rare and powerful nuts for Chocobo breeding that I will have to do later. Which is gonna be absurdly madness. But I might as well steal them while I'm here. Okay, can you just get it, Dilly? Actually, you know what? Let's, let's try stealing from the other one there, because if I... Okay, so I want to show what Goblin Punch actually does. The Goblin Punch are on the same level, so this should do... Yeah, a lot more than <laughs> it had been. But we have a Zeo Nut. Uh, I want at least two. I may have to come back for more eventually, but I'll do it off screen. As long as you, the viewer, have seen uh, how to obtain things, then I am not worried. There's one more thing I wish to try after this. And uh, it's kind of, I don't say it's a glitch or a cheat, but it's a little manipulative. Also, uh, some of the shops, particularly Cosmo Canyon, uh, Costa del Sol, Junin, and Rocket Town have new equipment and items to, to buy. Uh, and as with well Fort Condor. Um, Fort Condor has new materia. You can actually purchase all materias right now, which is if you really need some, that's good. Uh, the shop in Junin sells the weapons with no materia slots, so if you haven't done Wute at this point, you can get those to do that. If you don't already have them, but you should if you, you know, got all the treasures that you can get at this point. Uh, another shop also sells Platinum Bangles, which only has two, which is an armor that only has horrible defense, only has two material slots, but it's double growth, and I think it's one of the only armor pieces in the game that you can purchase that has more than single growth. Obviously, we're going to start getting... Good lord, can I just get this, please? We're going to start getting uh, the triple growth weapons for everybody, and that's when uh, the earnest... The earnest uh, materia grinding will be because we'll have, you know, triple growth weapons. We won't be able to, you know, get that many at a time because they, they typically only have three slots or so, but it'll be better than you know, nothing. But anyway, that's done. Okay, so, the last thing you do is attempting to get a Materia early by manipulating the RNG to, or not the RNG, but by manipulating the... I don't know how you'd say, manipulating Is this important? I think, actually, this is... Oh, this is just Goblin Island again. It's manipulating where the high wind lands and where you exit from to get some... to be on a place you're not supposed to be on yet, and thus being able to walk to a certain area that you should be able to get to. And... If I could find it... East of the Chocobo Ranch. Where is the Chocobo Ranch? That is the Chocobo Ranch. No, that's calm. It's over here. There's the Chocobo Ranch. Now I am looking for a cave, which I think is on... 
Oh, it's on this. This here. Yes, there it is. Okay, that looks like it. Now you can't land on this green stuff, but what you have to do is you can land on this. And I, I just saved, so I'm not too worried about if I have to down fly. Okay, and you have to face south when you land. Okay, okay. Holding the square button will let you move the airship in. I don't know if it's because they fixed it or I just didn't do it correctly. There we go. Wait, I'm stuck. How come I can't move? That was jerky. But yeah, you've seen basically how. No, I guess not. Okay, during the landing, hold... Okay, so I found where... where I need to hold... Up, left, and L1. Okay, that didn't work at all. That... Uh... Okay. This isn't... <laughs> yeah, well, we're just... I assume the up left and L1 is to... get me onto that thing where I can actually move instead of being stuck in like some little midget or uh, maybe I'm not doing too not doing it too right there uh, crap, I still can't move oh, oh well uh oh how much longer am I in here yeah okay uh, that's gonna be it for now uh actually let's see what island this is Deal area. Okay, so yeah, this is where I will show you where we're gonna go. That is Medeal. This is our next area of, you know. Okay, um, I'm gonna do some exploring around here, see if there's any interesting enemies to fight. But yeah, uh, next time, if I don't find anything interesting, we will actually go to Medeal, which is right over there. So, Dylan, thank you guys so much for watching, thanks for all your support, and have a good night.